Hey, what's up, Tinkles? Welcome back again to our kid channel. Once again, this is Tang, your ordinary Filipina, and I am with Jolai, the sexy boom <laughs> Sexy boom <laughs> That's the channel. Oh, yeah, that's your channel, the sexy yeah. boom boom boom. My channel is Jolai and Uncle Star. With yeah, the with the boom boom. boom. <laughs> with the shake, shake, shake. <laughs> oh, I guess you love boom boom already. Oh my yeah, god. Boom, boom, <laughs> we're innocent. No, we're not. Oh my god. Uh, You're not. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so for today's topic, so I've we've been contacted a uh, few, you know, we've been connected one year na na. Yeah, oh, almost one year, almost one year yes. na da. Oh my god. She's the first person who collabed me. Chalab yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I will never forget her, guys, because she's the first blogger that reach me out to do the collaboration and i was 500 subscribers, yeah, 500 subscribers. <laughs> but now guys oh my god she is in 50 plus and Shut all up. well i'm so happy for your success thank you so much without any sadness in my heart <laughs> <laughs> Oy, happy tayo <laughs> happy kay ko si mong success thank promise so i think you're the only one person who to me <laughs> yeah like you know what um like same bloggers that saying to me that i'm happy for your success yeah, yeah. at least the buyers in the stable now yeah, she supported me since before oh my mm -hmm. goodness she's so happy mm -hmm. i'll never forget her guys we um message constantly on facebook we only message if we have we need something, we need something oh. <laughs> i hope you all not unfriend me no <laughs> you are you you're on your page so i can't unfriend you <laughs> You already visited in Thailand. Yes. <gasps> oh my god. So how was your experience with the people there about, you know, sexual uh, sexuality? Are they open minded for that? Um if you go to Pattaya, they're very open minded and really breaks my heart because like I was staying in a condo and usually women just coming there at night then go back home in the morning because before i when i was in thailand i used to sleep at night maybe 11 or 12 and i wake up very early in the morning six to seven and i saw the girls they just um they out from the room i can also hear the screaming oh yeah. they moan <laughs> like oh. they're moaning in the, in the room moan. like super super loud and like I, you can really feel that it's brutality something because you can really hear, hear the spanking yeah, because I was in a condo and I really feel like super, you know, like it's really hurt inside, it's really painful because people are just women like they used to do that every day. They make normalize. Yeah, such, normalize yeah. those things. But in terms of language and communication, it's really hard to communicate people in Experience. Pattaya. Experience. <laughs> yeah, but in, in Bangkok, it's easy. But in Pattaya, since that is a, like, we call it a province or small city. So, people there don't know. I Some don't, I some knows how to speak English, but most, they don't know how to speak English. I need to use Grab so that I can I can um, reach to my destination safely <laughs> yeah that's yeah. It. that's our problem also before so you're talking about that it's really normal to them about the sexuality so yeah, because that is their job yeah Making so that's income. that's how they, they, they that's live. how they live how, yeah. that's how they, they they survive that's how they survive in their life and most of those ladies are single mom so they don't have husband and they are the one taking care of their kids and they I, because i interviewed some women there and actually there is one of my a one woman from the bar in my channel i interviewed her and some of the kuan kenang um bar girls their experience is not that easy so they've been in a man that don't care about the baby they just got pregnant and left them that's why they um enter that kind of job that's really sad, you know. Yeah, it's really sad. But I guess that it's really reality in Thailand right now. Yeah, in Pattaya. Because some provinces are very also conservative. And they really have education. But in Pattaya only. Just like in the Philippines, we yeah, have Walking a... Street in Los Angeles. So it's the same. But in Pattaya, it's like a little Mumbai. Which is so many um, Indian people there around. So many Indian people. And even bars and restaurants. <laughs> there are more. Yeah. 
Oh my god, that's really sad reality. It's so sad reality. Like, um, they don't have a choice because they need to work at night and follow the rules of the bars. And they receive money like 5,000 baht and that is 8,000 pesos, I think more than um, in our Philippine money. If they take, if, they, if the man will take out them and yeah, bring them into the hotel and sleep with. In case not much, I guess. Yeah, in Thailand, that not that's not much so aside from that who is much more open-minded with a thai girl or a filipina girl about anal or blowjob i did not ask them about that but for sure they are very open-minded it depends on the woman because if she is working in the bar then for sure she's very open with that but into filipinas even me i'm just like i feel disrespect about like that because we are a woman we're not a gay <laughs> yeah 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 we yeah. have we have our hole and we have three holes yeah. <laughs> we have the main one so why would you use the anal but i heard about that that a man would like to use the anal it's because when the woman is already um giving birth especially many kids already so the whole of the woman is to become more stretched Wow. And yeah, but it will contract again, right? It will sm become smaller again. But some men, they are not um, satisfied. That's why they're using anal. But it depends on you girls. If you are allowing your partner to use your anal. <laughs> yeah. You know, I am so curious about what what should be the feelings to have such anal boom boom, you know? I don't like to try yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm curious, but I don't want to try. No, and don't I never try been, it. And I don't want it. Don't try it. <laughs> Because your husband will love that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, but no. you know, my husband never tried also with that. Yeah, I know your husband then. is very respectful. And, mm, yeah. cannot. You're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are so blessed. And I guess I, in the first, uh, for what what you have said is that if the the woman already gives birth and then the vagina is getting stretched, you know, so. Yeah. I made an uh, interview or question about my cousins who already g give birth. I'm asking them, the first baby, that how... how uh, what happened? <laughs> how is no, it? I, I asked them how long they wait when they after giving birth before, before they make they sex yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. And then mostly they said two months. And wow. then in two months, they said it's it's get close again. So it sounds like you're a virgin again. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's close again. The muscle will... Um, contract again but um, when I, they I heard also from the doctor he is a specialist about the reproductive organs um, it also depends on your age yeah. if you are maybe 40 plus or up then it's no it's, it's, <laughs> you know our skin outside it became soggy yeah we are getting older so it's the same also with your um coca melon inside so what is that man peanut inside <laughs> <laughs> but for me i can say i'm still in good condition <laughs> I, <laughs> I, you were very, you're still very young so if you are still young and you gave birth maybe two or one kid um after months it will go back normal again but i don't know why some guys are not satisfied <laughs> yeah I, I i i've talked to one of my cousins also that the boyfriend wants to experience Anna yeah. to her, and then she made joke. Why, babe? Is my yeah, why, is, is my pussy is so is <laughs> so why is my pussy is a very big hole now that you can, it it will not very give satisfaction to you? So you want try Anna? Yeah, why? That's I have a question about the gentleman. Yeah, big... why? Well, you know, exploring is also a good. Yeah. I Exploring is the best teacher. Eh? Uh, <laughs> so, I've been watching your videos silently, oh, no comments. <laughs> your most video is really spicy exactly. and it's exactly. very, very hot. That everyone also while watching, maybe they get horny. Wow. Really Especially the, the woman in the video is very hot. Oh. Oh. So, which kind of practice do Filipinas in the bedroom? What do you mean practice? Yeah, what kind of activities? Activities mm -mm. that they need? Mm -mm. Experience for Experience. your more... Yeah, you made more interview about that, so... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are the things? Actually, I'm making that video just to for women also knows and they are um sa ganinang, like aware. They are aware, especially the condoms. So it makes Filipino women also sound like it's not all about women. It's for men also that they knows what are the benefits. I know many of you guys knows about the benefits, but there are still many people are still innocent and they don't know about it. So it's like lesson to everyone. As as Jonavel said, uh, we need to normalize the topic in order for innocent people knows about those things because usually innocent are the one get pregnant. Yeah, like it's all about it. They experience unplanned pregnancy so that's because they don't like to learn but if you are learning that kind of things you are aware so your thinking is that you are not innocent any longer i i was i was in a medical course in nursing course and i was doing like I, we study about preg I, like their productive systems we study about um what is that like family planning so in family planning you know already about the things like they really showed you what are the things that you need to avoid not to get pregnant what are the things you need to do for you to get pregnant so i've been in family planning a lot of times so but we know using condoms is not really satisfying <laughs> yeah it is really not satisfying many filipinas in my interview also they said that it's not literally satisfying because you cannot feel the, the, um, the burning the, yeah, inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but it's the safest way. Like 95% or more than safest. You think condom is the most safe? Abstinence is the most safety. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I heard it from the doctor. Abstinence is the best. 